Yeah, I mean, everything about this game is personal for me, um, and I'm going to treat it that way. And and like I said, I'm going to put my my team in the best position to win. Why do you say that? Why do you think it's why is it personal for you? Just in the fashion that you know how the whole you know release was handled, um, you know. So I, I just knew uh, it would be a time that I was going to play the Browns. I felt like it was inevitable. And uh, the time has come. Why do you, when you say handled, what do you, what do you, can you elaborate on that? You didn't think that it was handled properly, the way that they let you go? I mean, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I, I was coming in to, to uh, you know, a new coaching staff that I was, you know, growing towards. And, and uh, they were looking at me to, to come in and play well. And I had a great relationship with them. And, the uh, front office decided to go in another direction, and, and uh, hopefully I'll make them pay. Did you think it was more Ray and upstairs than it, it was, was the for coaching? Sure. For sure, 100% all him. You keep, you know, I know you're good friends with Josh. And mm -hmm. He's getting close to coming back. Right. What, what's, what's, what should the league, what should the Browns expect when Josh comes back? Um, just exactly what, um, you know, he's going to pick up where he's left off. Uh, Josh has a tremendous talent. Uh, everybody in this league knows that. And, and um, you know, he's done He's done everything in, um, up until now to prepare himself to, to return. What can you add to this Bengals team that they might not already know in a rivalry that's gone on as long as it's gone on? Um, well, I just know that um, what they try to do on offense, I mean, uh, on, on defense, um, I know their playing style. I know every every player. I'm, I'm a pretty smart football player, so I mean, I know how they play. Um, I know, you know, what they're good at and what they're not good at. And, um, you know, we, we have a game plan for that. Great. Going back to the leaving Cleveland, did you, it sounds like you got along pretty well with Patton. So were you surprised? No, I didn't get along with Patton. Patton doesn't talk to any any of his players. Like you'll walk past him in the hallway, and he won't even speak to you. So to have that type of relationship for you know a coach is is kind of you know odd. So he so, so I, I mean I can't I can't I can't I can't go out and say that you know I'm gonna lay it on the line for a guy that won't even speak to me if we're the only two people in the hallway. So he never spoke to you. But he spoke to anybody. This is this is the new head coach. I just want to make. Patton. Yeah, you yeah. said Patton. Yeah, yeah. Has this felt like a refreshing start in that respect for you, being in this locker room? Being in this locker like room is, is very receptive. Uh, you know, I, I didn't have any problems in the locker room in Cleveland. I love those guys. You know, those are my closest friends, a lot of them. But um, here, it's it's the same feeling. Um, you know, you have that that college type of feel around here where everybody's close, and and Marvin is is very close with a lot of guys on the team. And, and Hugh and and everybody, all the coaches are very, very um, receptive to to players and you know their lives off the field and that kind of aspect. So that just gives you the added energy to go out there and lay it on the line for you know the coaches and the guys in the locker room. See, so think that clean slate here has kind of re-energized you a little bit, maybe. I mean, I didn't need to be re-energized. Yeah. Being cut was re-energized enough for me. Yeah, I know that you when you.